another video here. So I just saw this video last night on Twitter and someone named Tara posts this video and it says, Joe Rogan asks how we have 175 billion to send overseas, but not 5 billion to send to Maui during those devastating fires. And he was having this conversation with Jimmy Dore. And as you know, I'm sure if you're a fan of me or a fan of this channel, I'm a huge fan of both of these guys. So let's just check out what they had to say here. And then we'll uh, talk about it after like usual. The playbook is keep the people distracted and divided. That's always been the playbook. And then while we're in the middle of these international conflicts that are baffling to everybody involved, and you're wondering how they have all this money to do that, but they don't have any money to address all the problems that we have. How about the people in Maui? Imagine being a person in Maui that lost that? your home. They give you $700, and then you still can't rebuild. It's a year later, nothing's been built. And at the blink of an eye, they give $100 billion to Zelensky. And, and well, even worse, they accidentally sent Ukraine $6 billion. <laughs> They sent an accidental $6 billion. So then we looked up, like, how much would it cost to rebuild every house that got destroyed in the fire? $5 billion. See, I mean, and that's, you know, they have all this money for everyone else. We do this here in Canada, too. We, have, we could spend so much more money, you know, building more and better infrastructures here, fixing the roads, getting people off the street. And they just they just say, ah, screw Canadians, screw Americans. We'll send the money over to Ukraine or Afghanistan or whatever stupid war they're involved in. Or, you know, they'll give some third world country money for gender studies. It's like, I think they need food and water more than gender studies. And since you have so much money to send overseas, why are you not sending or keeping the money here and spending it on Canadians? The people who actually got you into office and elected you into office? Right? The American and Canadian people just get screwed. We vote these people in and then they just go, yeah, screw the people who voted us in. Let's spend money overseas. It's insane. So they could have done so that. why wouldn't they do that? Why, why wouldn't they do that? Why, do why think... wouldn't they do that? I don't understand. Those people are devastated. And then there's all this talk you about know, like go taking to... over that land. And... Well, you go to Maui. I was in Maui. And you see people have uh, put graffiti on the side of buildings saying this is a land grab. Yeah. You see that a lot. It is a land grab. It's a pretty transparent land grab. Right? It's happening in front of our eyes. And no one's doing anything about it because it's five hours on a jet across the ocean. And we're watching this shit take place where these people... And first of all, just horrible mismanagement of water rights, horrible mismanagement of power lines. The fact that they have horrible winds, crazy winds there, and they've had these fucking power lines that are above ground. When I lived in California, my fucking lines were underground. They figured it out there. How come they didn't figure it out in Hawaii? You know how much money could have been saved if they just put the power lines underground? It was so unfortunate that their alarm system malfunctioned. Yeah, how about that? And that yeah. the yeah, and that's, it seems like, you know, it's like all these things that were horribly mismanaged. Were they horribly mismanaged or were, was it just ignored because they don't give a shit about the people of Hawaii or the people of Montana or the people of Florida or Texas? They don't care. They care about who their donors care for and their donors, a lot of them are military contractors. What do they want? They want war. That's why we fund Ukraine. That's why we're still bombing Syria and Somalia and Yemen. God knows who else is next. Like, yeah, it seems like a mismanagement, but is it that or is it just another level of corruption? Water got turned off, so the firefighters... They wouldn't let them turn the water on. It was people, the, the water's a very valuable commodity there. The whole just thing is fucking insane. And that the cops are turning people back into the fire. It's just, it's just, yeah. these the are whole all, thing's insane. These are, these are all just unfortunate. It's an unfortunate thing. Wow. Yeah, and you, see, you see the look of uh, Jimmy Dore's face there, and you, you can see the sarcasm when he says, oh, it's just a coincidence. And that's what I mean, right? Like, is it really just a coincidence, or are they setting the American people up to, to, to up to fail? Yeah, you know, we got all these problems, we can't fix that, but we got money for other countries. That's not what politicians are supposed to do. We are the employer, they are the employee, they take our tax money, they're supposed to spend that on things that we need. And they don't because they don't care because their donor class also doesn't care and they do what their donor class wants. And that's why we need an actual populist country first, people first, like Robert Kennedy to get in office because I have a feeling he probably would have sent a bunch of money over there to help people in, in Maui, as they should have. But Biden didn't. Do you think Trump would have done it? No. He's a puppet, too. He would have done exactly what the elitist tell him to do. 
The only reason they don't like him is because he melts off a lot. But he doesn't actually stick to it. Why do you think, for those people who think that the Democrats hate Trump more than they hate Kennedy, why do they offer Trump Secret Service protection but not Robert Kennedy? And they keep making all these excuses. He's the only presidential candidate, I believe, in history who has denied Secret Service multiple times. That's why you need a popular. Look at how much they hate him. That's that's that should tell anybody who has a brain in politics that, oh shit, they they're they're not even trying to protect this guy. They're making up all these weird slanders about him. That don't even make sense. He's, he eats dogs in Korea. No, he was eating goat in Patagonia. All this, this weird things making fun of him for having a worm brain. Oh, are you making fun of him because he's being honest about his health issues? Is Biden the guy you vote for? No, he's not. So it's just these, these weird arguments where people will say, oh, Trump would have done better. No, he wouldn't have. Robert Kennedy is the only one who has a chance to actually do it because he he actually seems like he cares about the people. And because he actually cares about the people and not the state and not his donors and not the elitist class, that's why they don't want to protect him. So, you know, take that of what you will. But anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Do you think that we should be taking so much taxpayer money and sending it overseas, especially when we have all this homelessness, you know, forest fires and other, you know, emergency situations that you know we need to send fun, uh, money to and they don't but they will send it over for war do you think that they should be doing that or do you think that we need an actual populist america first or in my case canada first politician to come in and say listen we're not spending money on any other countries until we get poverty cleaned up until we get rid of the national debt and etc have a bunch of money in case you know like earthquakes or fires happen and you need to help a community rebuild you need to have that money. And then after that, if you want to send humanitarian aid, not weapons, but actual humanitarian aid to countries who are suffering, then you can do that. But right now, whoever is the next president has a big, fat mess to clean up. And the only one who has a chance to do that is Robert Kennedy. But again, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section. Do you agree or disagree? Do you feel indifferent? Do you have a different you know, thought process? I'd love to hear it. Um, thanks again so much for watching, guys. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps grow the channel. I'll be back shortly with another video.